Hi everyone. Today, I am going to introduce our work, Lingo Space, Language Conditioned Incremental Grounding for Space. Natural language grounding methods have primarily focused on identifying instances, such as objects or actions. However, identifying space is also crucial for reaching or placing objects. Consider a scenario where the robot is assisting table setting. Given a language command, pick up the teapot and place it to the left of the yellow cup. The robot can easily locate the teapot for picking. Different from identifying objects, identifying space is challenging because it involves an ill-posed problem of place selection on continuous space referred to by discrete language expressions. Moreover, people widely use complex and composite instructions as shown in the video. Therefore, understanding composite expressions is important for accurate grounding. To sum up, the problem we want to solve is localizing spatial references within composite instructions. This is challenging because of its ill-posedness in identifying space and compositional ambiguity of referring expressions. To address these challenges, we introduce a lingo space, an incremental space grounding method representing space as a probabilistic distribution. This is the overall framework of the lingo space. Lingo space consists of three modules, a scene graph generator, a semantic parser, and a spatial distribution estimator. The first module, the scene graph generator takes detected objects as inputs and constructs a scene graph. The scene graph captures objects information including their cropped images, coordinates, and bounding boxes as nodes, while representing relational predicates as edges. The object images and predicates are then encoded by clip, generating node, and edge features, respectively. The next module, the semantic parser breaks down a composite instruction into constituent phrases. These phrases are then encoded by clip, generating their feature vectors. We use an LLM as a parser for scalable and generalizable parsing toward complex composite instructions. The last module is the spatial distribution estimator. Given a scene graph and phrases generated by previous modules, the estimator module returns a spatial distribution. Then, we can identify the desired location by finding the point with the maximum probability within the distribution. We formulate this as an optimization problem. Given the scene graph, Upsilon SG, and the instruction, lambda, we want to find the maximum probability point, x star. We reformulate this by introducing a distribution parameter, theta. Here, the term p theta given lambda, upsilon sg will be modeled through the spatial distribution estimator. Moreover, phrases, denoted as lambda, is a sequence of its constituent phrases, lambda 1 to lambda m. The expression p theta given lambda, upsilon sg, can be rephrased, as shown in the second line by applying chain rule. Assuming Markov property, we can simplify the equation, enabling incremental update of the distribution. Various distribution options are available for representing space. We choose a polar distribution, assuming the distance d follows a Gaussian and the angle phi follows a von Mises. The choice of a polar distribution is motivated by its efficiency and effectiveness in capturing diverse spatial configurations. For example, Cartesian distributions may fall short in representing ring-like spatial distributions, making polar distributions a preferred choice. To handle complex environments, we model space as a mixture of instance-wise polar distributions. For example, 
Given a phrase left below the cyan bowl, we can obtain instance-wise distributions, and obtain the final distribution by weighted sum, assigning higher weight to the more relevant instance. In cases where multiple relevant instances exist, the weights are distributed accordingly. Returning to the overall framework, now, the spatial distribution estimator provides a mixture of polar distributions. Let me begin to explain the architecture of the estimator in detail. The initial step is pre-processing the given scene graph and phrase. The scene graph, generated by scene graph generator composes node features and edge features. The semantic parser produces the feature of ice phrase of a composite instruction. Also, the state of the estimator from the previous step is used here. I will explain what the previous estimator's state is later. These features are first projected by a liner layer. And then concatenated, generating a new node feature. The edge features from the scene graph will directly be used as a new edge feature. Finally, the pre-processing is done. Next, each node feature will be updated via a graph-based network. Then, the estimator predicts instance-wise polar distribution parameters via MLPs. The state from the last hidden layer will be used as a previous state and will be used for the next estimation. We iterate the 1 to 4 step m times, where m stands for the number of phrases. And incrementally update using each distribution. We design the loss function for the estimator as a linear combination of two loss functions. The first one is a negative log likelihood of spatial distribution given a ground truth position and ground truth weight. The next one is cross entropy loss reducing the gap between ground truth and predicted weight. We evaluate the performance of LingoSpace with our own benchmark and three distinct benchmarks. The results presented in the tables show that LingoSpace exhibits generalizability over unseen referring objects and effectively represents diverse distribution, such as FAR. Even with multiple referring expressions, LingoSpace achieves consistently highest scores. Also, we show our method scalability and generalizability by training with maximum three referring expressions and testing with maximum six referring expressions as in the chart. Here is the result visualization with baselines. Given an instruction and image, our method, LingoSpace, predicts similar to ground truth even with visually confusing objects, while others fails to predict. Furthermore, LingoSpace can handle more complex composite instruction as shown in this visualization. This is the robot manipulation demonstration video of incremental space grounding. Given a composite instruction, LingoSpace can incrementally update distribution, identifying the best location to place. For more demonstrations, please refer to our website or visit our poster spot offline. Thank you for paying attention. Feel free to contact me.